Welcome to our Bible Quiz channel. Today, we journey through all 39 books of the Old Testament with 39 engaging questions that test your knowledge of key events, figures, and teachings. This quiz includes questions such as the mother of Ishmael in Genesis, the parting of the Red Sea in Exodus, and the names of the two spies with a good report in Numbers. You'll also encounter questions about the judges, kings, and prophets, such as Solomon building the temple, Jeremiah's imprisonment, and the vision of the Valley of Dry Bones in Ezekiel. Each question is crafted to challenge your understanding and deepen your knowledge of the Old Testament. Before we begin, please subscribe and like this video. Your support helps us continue spreading the message of the Bible and bringing you more engaging content. Are you ready to test your Old Testament knowledge? Let's get started. Question 1. In the book of Genesis, who was the mother of Ishmael? A. Sarah B. Hagar C. Rebekah D. Leah You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, B, Hagar. Explaining the Bible, Genesis chapter 16, verse 15, And Hagar bare Abram a son, and Abram called his son's name, which Hagar bare Ishmael. Question 2. In Exodus, what did God use to part the Red Sea? A, a rod. B, a stone. C, a sword. D. A cloud. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. A. A rod. Explaining the Bible, Exodus chapter 14, verse 16. But lift thou up thy rod and stretch out thine hand over the sea and divide it, and the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. Question 3. In Leviticus, what were the priests commanded to wear on their heads during service? A. Crowns B. Linen bonnets C. Helmets D. Turbans You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. B. Linen bonnets. Explaining the Bible. Leviticus chapter 16 verse 4. He shall put on the holy linen coat, and he shall have the linen breeches upon his flesh, and shall be girded with a linen girdle, and with the linen mitre shall he be attired. These are holy garments. Question 4. In Numbers, who were the two men who brought back a good report after spying out the land of Canaan? A. Moses and Aaron. B. Caleb and Joshua. C. Nadab and Abihu. D. Eleazar and Phineas. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, B, Caleb and Joshua. Explaining the Bible, Numbers, chapter 14, verse 6, and Joshua the son of Nun, and Caleb the son of Jephunneh, which were of them that searched the land, rent their clothes. Question 5. In Deuteronomy, what does Moses say about the Lord's relationship with Israel? A. They are his chosen people. B. They are cursed. C. They are his enemies. D. They are strangers to him. You get 10 seconds. Correct. 
Correct answer, A, they are his chosen people. Explaining the Bible, Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Question 6. In the book of Joshua, what was the name of the city that was captured and destroyed first when the Israelites entered Canaan? A. Ai. B. Bethel. C. Hebron. D. Jericho. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, D, Jericho. Explaining the Bible, Joshua chapter 6, verse 20. So the people shouted when the priests blew with the trumpets, and it came to pass, when the people heard the sound of the trumpet, and the people shouted with a great shout, that the wall fell down flat, so that the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took the city. Question 7. In Judges, whose wife killed Sisera by driving a tent peg through his head? A. Deborah B. Jael Heber C. Gideon D. Samson You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, B. Jael Explaining the Bible, Judges chapter 4, verse 21. Then Jael Haber's wife took a nail of the tent and took a hammer in her hand and went softly unto him and smote the nail into his temples and fastened it into the ground. Question 8. In the book of Ruth, who was Ruth's first husband before she married Boaz? A. Malin B. Chilion C. Elimelech D. Obed. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. A. Malon. Explaining the Bible. Ruth chapter 4 verse 10. Moreover, Ruth the Moabites, the wife of Malon, have I purchased to be my wife, to raise up the name of the dead upon his inheritance? Question 9. In 1 Samuel, who was the first king of Israel anointed by Samuel? A. David B. Saul C. Solomon D. Absalom You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, B, Saul, explaining the Bible, 1 Samuel chapter 10, verse 1. Then Samuel took a vial of oil and poured it upon his head and kissed him and said, Is it not because the Lord hath anointed thee to be captain over his inheritance? Question 10. In Sig Samuel, who was the prophet who confronted David about his sin with Bathsheba? A, Samuel. B. Gad C. Nathan D. Elijah You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. C. Nathan Explaining the Bible, 2 Samuel chapter 12, verse 7, And Nathan said to David, Thou art the man. Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, I anointed thee king over Israel, and I delivered thee out of the hand of Saul. Question 11. In Worst Kings, who was the king that built the first temple in Jerusalem? A. David B. Solomon C. Rehoboam D. Jeroboam You get 10 seconds.
Correct answer, B. Solomon. Explaining the Bible, 1 Kings chapter 6, verse 14. So Solomon built the house and finished it. Question 12. In 2 Kings, who was taken up to heaven in a whirlwind without seeing death? A. Elijah. B. Elisha. C. Isaiah. D. Ezekiel. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. A. Elijah. Explaining the Bible. 2 Kings chapter 2 verse 11. And it came to pass, as they still went on and talked, that behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire, and parted them both asunder, and Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. Question 13. In 1 Chronicles, who was responsible for organizing the Levites into divisions for temple service? A. Saul B. Solomon C. David D. Jehoshaphat You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, C. David Explaining the Bible, 1 Chronicles chapter 23, verse 6. And David divided them into courses among the sons of Levi, namely Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. Question 14. In 2 Chronicles, who prayed to God during the battle against the Ethiopians and was given victory? A. Jehoshaphat. B. Asa. C. Hezekiah. D. Josiah. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. B. Asa. Explaining the Bible. 2 Chronicles chapter 14, verse 11. And Asa cried unto the Lord his God and said, Lord, it is nothing with thee to help, whether with many or with them that have no power. Help us, O Lord our God, for we rest on thee, and in thy name we go against this multitude. Question 15. In the book of Ezra, what did Ezra do upon hearing that the Israelites had intermarried with foreign women? A. Rejoiced. B. Fled the city. C. Gave offerings. D. Tore clothes, pulled hair. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. D. Tore clothes, pulled hair. Explaining the Bible. Ezra, chapter 9, verse 3. And when I heard this thing, I rent my garment and my mantle, and plucked off the hair of my head and of my beard, and sat down a stone-eyed. Question 16. In the book of Nehemiah, what was Nehemiah's position before he became the governor of Judah? A. A soldier. B. A scribe. C. A cupbearer to the king. D. A prophet. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, C. A cupbearer to the king. Explaining the Bible, Nehemiah chapter 1 verse 11. O Lord, I beseech thee, let now thine ear be attentive to the prayer of thy servant, and to the prayer of thy servants, who desire to fear thy name, and prosper, I pray thee, thy servant this day, and grant him mercy in the sight of this man. For I was the king's cupbearer. Question 17. In the book of Esther, who uncovered a plot to kill King Ahasuerus? A. Haman B. Mordecai C. 
Esther D. Vashti. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, B. Mordecai. Explaining the Bible, Esther, chapter 2, verse 22. And the thing was known to Mordecai, who told it unto Esther the queen, and Esther certified the king thereof in Mordecai's name. Question 18. In the book of Job, who suggested that Job curse God and die? A. His wife. B. His friends. C. His children. D. His servants. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. A. His wife. Explaining the Bible. Jobah chapter 2 verse 9. Then said his wife unto him, Dost thou still retain thine integrity? Curse God and die. Question 19. In Psalms, what is the recurring phrase in Psalm 136? A. Praise the Lord. B. His mercy endureth forever. C. The Lord is my shepherd. D. The Lord is my rock. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, B, His mercy endureth forever. Explaining the Bible, Psalms chapter 136, verse 1. O give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endureth forever. Question 20. In Proverbs, who is described as more bitter than death? A, a deceitful friend. B, a foolish man, C, a strange woman, D, a wicked king. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, C, a strange woman. Explaining the Bible, Proverbs chapter 7, verse 26. For she hath cast down many wounded, yea, many strong men have been slain by her. Question 21. In Ecclesiastes, what does the author say is the whole duty of man? A. To love his neighbor. B. To seek wisdom. C. Fear God. Keep commandments. D. To live a righteous life. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, C. Fear. God. Keep commandments. Explaining the Bible. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Question 22. In the Song of Solomon, how does the bride describe her beloved among men? A like a lion, B, as a chief among 10,000, C, as a shepherd among wolves, D, as a king above all others. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, B, as a chief among 10,000, explaining the Bible, Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 10. My beloved is white and ruddy, the chiefest among 10,000. Question 23. In Isaiah, 
which king of Judah was told to set his house in order because he would die? A. Ahaz B. Uzziah C. Hezekiah D. Manasseh You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, C, Hezekiah, explaining the Bible. Isaiah chapter 38 verse 1. In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death, and Isaiah the prophet the son of Amoz came unto him, and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Set thine house in order, for thou shalt die, and not live. Question 24. In Jeremiah, who was thrown into a cistern because of his prophecies, a. Hananiah B. Jeremiah C. Ezekiel D. Zechariah You get 10 seconds. Correct answer B. Jeremiah Explaining the Bible Jeremiah chapter 38 verse 6. Then took they Jeremiah and cast him into the dungeon of Malchiah, the son of Hamelech, that was in the court of the prison. And they let down Jeremiah with cords. And in the dungeon there was no water, but mire. So Jeremiah sunk in the mire. Question 25. In Lamentations, what is Jeremiah lamenting the destruction of? A. Samaria B. Bethel D. Jericho D. The Temple and the City of Jerusalem You get 10 seconds. Correct answer C. The Temple and the City of Jerusalem Explaining the Bible Lamentations chapter 1 verse 1. How doth the city sit solitary, that was full of people? How is she become as a widow, she that was great among the nations, and princess among the provinces? How is she become tributary? Question 26. In Ezekiel, what did Ezekiel see in his vision by the river Chabar? A. A burning bush? B. A valley of dry bones? C. A wheel in the middle of a wheel. D. A pillar of fire. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. C. A wheel in the middle of a wheel. Explaining the Bible. Ezekiel, chapter 1, verse 16. The appearance of the wheels and their work was like unto the color of a barrel, and they four had one likeness, and their appearance and their work was as it were a wheel in the middle of a wheel. Question 27. In the book of Daniel, who interpreted King Nebuchadnezzar's dream of a great statue? A. Daniel B. Meshach C. Shadrach D. Abednego You get 10 seconds. Correct answer A. Daniel Explaining the Bible Daniel chapter 2 verse 36 This is the dream and we will tell the interpretation thereof before the king. Question 28. In the book of Hosea, what symbolic action did God command Hosea to take to illustrate Israel's unfaithfulness? A. Marry a prostitute. B. Build an altar. C. Sacrifice his son. D. Flee to a foreign land. You get 10 seconds.
Correct answer, A, marry a prostitute. Explaining the Bible, Hosea chapter 1 verse 2. The beginning of the word of the Lord by Hosea. And the Lord said to Hosea, Go, take unto thee a wife of whoredoms and children of whoredoms. For the land hath committed great whoredom, departing from the Lord. Question 29. In the book of Joel, what natural disaster is used to describe God's judgment on Israel? A. A flood. B. A locust plague. C. An earthquake. D. A fire. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, B, a locust plague. Explaining the Bible, Joel chapter 1, verse 4. That which the palmer worm hath left hath the locust eaten, and that which the locust hath left hath the canker worm eaten, and that which the canker worm hath left hath the caterpillar eaten. Question 30. In Amos, what did Amos see in his vision that represented God's standard for judgment? A. A measuring line. B. A sword. C. A plumb line. D. A burning lamp. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. C a plumb line. Explaining the Bible, Amos chapter 7, verse 7 and 8. Thus he showed me, and behold, the Lord stood upon a wall made by a plumb line, with a plumb line in his hand. And the Lord said unto me, Amos, what seest thou? And I said, A plumb line. Then said the Lord, Behold, I will set a plumb line in the midst of my people Israel. I will not again pass by them any more. Question 31. In the book of Obadiah, what nation did Obadiah prophesy would be judged for its treatment of Israel? A. Moab B. Edom C. Philistia D. Assyria You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, B, Edom. Explaining the Bible, Obadiah verse 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Question 32. In the book of Jonah, how many days was Jonah in the belly of the great fish? A, one day. B, two days. C, four days and four nights d three days and three nights you get 10 seconds correct answer d three days and three nights explaining the bible jonah chapter 1 verse 17 now the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. 33. Question 33. In the book of Micah, where did Micah prophesy that the Messiah would be born? A. Jerusalem B. Bethel C. Nazareth D. Bethlehem You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, D, Bethlehem. Explaining the Bible, Micah chapter 5, verse 2. But thou, Bethlehem Ephratah, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me that is to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth have been from of old, from everlasting. 
Question 34. In Nahum, which city is prophesied to be destroyed because of its cruelty and sin? A. Nineveh B. Babylon C. Sodom D. Gomorrah You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, A. Nineveh. Explaining the Bible, Nahum chapter 1, verse 1, The Burden of Nineveh, the Book of the Vision of Nahum the Elkoshite. Question 35. In the book of Habakkuk, what did the prophet say the just shall live by? A. The law. B. Their faith. C. Their works. D. Their love. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, B, their faith. Explaining the Bible. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Question 36. In Zephaniah, what did Zephaniah say God would do to the idols of the nations? A. He would bless them. B. He would destroy them. C. He would cast them into the sea. D. He would sell them for gold. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, B, he would destroy them. Explaining the Bible, Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 11, The Lord will be terrible unto them, for he will famish all the gods of the earth, and men shall worship him, every one from his place, even all the isles of the heathen. Question 37. In Haggai, what did Haggai say the people should prioritize instead of building their own houses? A. Building the Lord's house. B. Gathering wealth. C. Raising children. D. Making peace treaties. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. A. Building the Lord's house. Explaining the Bible. Haggai chapter 1 verse 4. Is it time for you, O ye, to dwell in your sealed houses and this house lie waste? 38. Question 38. In Zechariah, what vision did Zechariah see that represented God's protection over Jerusalem? A. A wall of fire around the city. B. A pillar of cloud. C. A chariot of angels. D. A river of life. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. A. A wall of fire around the city. Explaining the Bible. Zechariah chapter 2, verse 5. For I, saith the Lord, will be unto her a wall of fire round about, and will be the glory in the midst of her. 39. Question 39. In Malachi, what does the Lord say he will send before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord? A. A flood. B. Fire from heaven. C. Elijah the prophet. D. A mighty wind. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. C. Elijah the prophet. 
explaining the Bible, Malachi chapter 4 verse 5, Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. 